taking forward. Uh, I'll throw that at you first before I ask you, what are some examples maybe that didn't and you had to change? Go ahead, Thomas. Your speaker, I think, Tom. Yeah, so the question was about as an influencer, what works and what doesn't. Um, you know, there is no uh, one thing I I went away from is get away from prescriptions, uh, get away from how to do this. Um, so I don't have a prescription. I don't ha I don't have a manual how it what works, what doesn't, because I feel every situation is different. Every player is different. Every circumstance is different. The context of the situation is different. So what works in one situation doesn't necessarily work in another situation. So what does work is my openness and presence of mind and not wanting to be right. Because I want to speak just for myself, you know, a lot of time I want to be right. And when I want to be right, that's only one way to do it. So I am immediately closing off many different solutions to the problem when I want to be right. So if I relinquish the need to be right, I open myself to different opportunities, possibilities that might come through different people like yourselves, like a group like this, uh, my uh, coaching staff, my coaching mates, uh, and also mainly through intuition and ideas that come from a different source, higher source, and but I have to be open to it. And openness comes from relinquishing the need to be right. Uh, and that is very difficult for me. And if I, so my, my prayer or my meditation or my uh, attitude adjustment every morning is, you know, please help me do the right thing and not necessarily what I believe is the right thing. So that's what works because there is no, like I said, there's no prescription. Like uh, if I would be working with Kim, it certainly would be different than if I would be working with my player in Sweden or my different player in Toronto. The Czech, Rep Czech national team was a completely different experience than Toronto and then the Olympic Oval. And so I don't have the answers, never do. But there's other people that have, or there is the ultimate uh, intelligence or ultimate intuition that knows all the answers. And I just have to make sure I'm connected to that. Not every day I'm successful, but when I'm connected, then the right answers, the right ideas, the right drills, the right one word that I need to say. Sometimes it's not to say anything. I, you know, I was at the development camp and I was sometimes surprised. I didn't speak the whole day. I didn't say anything. And some days I was talking a lot and I was taking charge and I was more aggressive, more demanding. And some days I wouldn't say anything. And I hope it was through guidance, not through Thomas Pacino. I, I, I relate to this to the player and to, this, to any staff that works together. Uh, and I call it a mathematical formula, a different formula. One and one equals two. We all know that's pretty simple, pretty right. But the reality of what you're saying with teamwork 